Back to School on News 2, sponsored by Pleasant Family Dentistry. As we begin a new school year, Count on Two's Octavia Mitchell sat down one on one with the leaders of our local school districts. And today, she was in Georgetown County. Well, we're excited about the new year. I think you'll see a number of changes. Dr. Randy Dozier will begin his 16th year as leader of Georgetown County School District. This year, nearly 10,000 students will head back to the district's 19 schools. Students will have access to interactive 3D computer labs. Uh, you'll see Z Space Labs in all the high schools, which are interactive uh, 3D. Um, computer labs, which the kids understand very well how to operate, but you can do almost anything in those labs. It's very 21st century technology. Also new this year, a new state-of-the-art manufacturing center, a partnership with Ori Georgetown Technical College. It's going to move us to the 21st century. It's very high-tech, uh, specialized welding, megatronics, a lot of things that are gone that our students will be able to access. And uh, kind of a dual enrollment, you know, they can get a, a large start into their associate program, so we'll, you'll see a number of students sign up and go into that. So we're very proud of that. Georgetown County School District also expanded their national award-winning security department. They will also have a full-service clinic at Andrews Elementary School this year. They'll have a nurse practitioner there, and students will be able to see those uh, individuals if they have needs and um, and staff too, so uh, we've worked out the details with them and we'll continue to grow that as the year goes on. Students in Georgetown County have a few extra days to enjoy summer break. They head back to school Wednesday, August 21st. We hope that it'll be a great year, one of the best year, record setting year. That's certainly our goal. Octavia Mitchell, count on two. Georgetown County School District worked on renovation projects at several schools over the summer for the second year in a row. The district's preschool program ranked third in the state when it comes to readiness to start school.